Hello and welcome everyone. In today's video, I will teach you how to create select menus in Discord JS version 14. So first of all, you will need to import your Discord package, or you can do something like Action Row Builder. And after that, you will need the Select Menu Builder. Create a row with the help of New Discord dot Action Row Builder. We will add a component and we will create a new Select Menu Builder. Make sure you only have a single Select Menu in your row. That means a new Select Menu is created here. So first of all, we have to add a placeholder. Please. Select the rule type. This is select rule type. And then we have the custom ID to uniquely verify what thing is clicked. These options are the main thing. So in our options, what we have to do is you either provide an object which has things like label. Label is the text. Like let me show you. If I click on this, you can see this general rules thing. It is the label. We have a description. So you can see this thing called please don't be bad. It is the description and after that we also have the value thing. Value is our thing which we will get in our interactions. And then we also have an emoji thing. It is just shown on its left. Provide a single object or you provide an array of these objects. Alright. That's how we can add options to our select menu. And after that you just have to provide it in the components and bam your thing is set. Now how the hell we are going to respond to them. The simple way you can do something like this. Const message is equals to await. Now we have our message. Now we can add a collector. We will do const collector is equals to message dot create message component collector. And then we have we can provide some things like filter so that only particular people can use this like i.user.id should be equals to interaction.user.id and afterwards you, you can even add a time limit and stuff like that so collector dot on collect you can just get the interaction and then reply to the interaction and do things like that but for this example i already have some code and in that i have this interaction create event as you guys can see so what i'm actually doing is if interaction.customid is equals to rule embed and if you remember that's what we named it we named the custom id as rule embed so if it is rule embed what we are going to do is so when i will click on it so you can see it logged this it is the value of our selected option if i choose a different one like this special rule so you can see it logged two because this is the op value of the option which is selected so now what you have to do is you can just get that value and do some programming like uh, if value is equal to do this, do that, etc, etc and then you can just reply to the interaction and by the way, a uh, small tip, if you don't want to reply instead if you want to edit the message, like if you want to edit this message what you can do is interaction.update the bot is started, if I click on this voice rules you can see it updated the embed, the message itself so that's how it works, I can just switch between things special rules and then I can go on general rules that's how it works you can do this as well it's your choice and you can make a formal if you want etc etc so that's how our interactions are collected and that's how you can reply to them and next video will be on probably multiple values in our select menu so till then bye thanks a lot for watching